It's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop and welcome back to my channel where I make cake and cookie decorating tutorials. And today I'm going to be bringing you a review of an app. So this app creator, Ryan of Peak Nest, reached out to me to come and check out this app. And basically what it is, is it's an organizational tool. Pretty straightforward, but the reason that I'm interested in it is because it's going to help you organize your cookie cutters. Now, if you guys have watched any of my organizational videos, or if you've seen any of my cookie decorating videos, I try at every opportunity to show you this cookie cutter wall because I absolutely love it. Now, one of the pros of the cookie cutter wall is that you can see all the cutters. I personally know where all of the categories are and where I can find the cutters. Now, what I love about the cookie cutter wall is that I can see everything and when I need to add on more cookie cutters, I can easily just remove the hooks like this and I can literally move the whole hook wherever I want it to move. So you might be asking me, why am I going on and on about the cookie cutter wall when I said that I was going to review an app? Well, the reason is because this Peak Nest app helps you organize your cookie cutters. So if you aren't able to have them all laid out like this, then this tool actually helps you organize things so that you know exactly where they are. I'm also gonna be talking about how it's still beneficial even with my cookie cutter wall. So let's get into it. So basically when you open up your app, it's going to look like this. And this is not just for cookie cutters, by the way. There are lots of different types of categories. And I'm pretty sure that when you open some of these up, they already have some natural categories within them as well. Just like how you can see with the cookie cutters, there's already characters, animals, shapes. Those are not things that I had to input myself. They were already there. So this can be really useful for your life as a whole. I would imagine this would be really good for things like ingredients as well, so you don't end up with five bags of candy melts when you already had two. So first, I'm gonna start here by creating my own category, and I'm going to call it fondant molds because I personally have a lot of different fondant molds. This app is very intuitive and it's very user-friendly. It's very simplistic as well when I look at it, but basically if you wanna change a title or anything like that, you just click and then you can go ahead and backspace and change it. So for video purposes, I am going to focus on looking at the cookie cutter section and I'm going to see which category I can input this in. So I'm just gonna choose a random character. And of course you will need to let Peak Nest have access to your camera. And there we go, we've got our Hello Kitty body. I'm gonna place it on a surface that I like, that's clear for me, capture it, easy peasy. And then that automatically goes into my nest. I think that's what it's called, hence Peak Nest. And then I'm going to give it a good description Description. Now I have lots of different types of Hello Kitty cutters, so I'm going to call this one Hello Kitty Full Body. Now I see this happen a lot on the cookie groups that I'm a part of. It hasn't actually happened to me a whole lot, but I think this app would also be useful for those times where you forget what the shape of the cutter is actually supposed to make. Most of my cutters are pretty straightforward, but there's some really nice cutters out there that combine things like banners and flowers. And this app could be really great at helping you identify that right away. You could probably even snap a picture of a finished cookie beside it, and then that way you know exactly how you're supposed to decorate it as well. So here I was tinkering around a bit, trying to find which cookie cutter that I wanted to actually input next, and I decided on this polar bear for the animal category. And I just took it right off of my wall, and then I'm gonna place it down on that surface again, making sure that I like the way it looks and that it's clear and obvious to me. And I'm going to call this large polar bear because again, I have different types of bears and different bear cutters, so I wanna make sure that I'm being very, very clear about which one this is. That quantity button is probably more useful for things like ingredients, but of course I only have one type of each cutter. Now, as I mentioned before with the cookie cutters, it already came with those pre-made categories. So I'm gonna go into my fondant mold category and I'm going to add an animals section because off the top of my head, I do know that I have a lot of animal fondant molds. Once you create that category, you just go ahead and click on that empty box and then it'll open it up for you. And this is where you can go ahead and click that plus sign where it'll open up your camera so you can go ahead and take any photos that you desire. So here I have my fishy fondant mold. It's actually a chocolate mold, but like I've mentioned in previous videos, I do use this for fondant as well. So in the description, I'm just going to call it a fish mold, not a gosh mold. And I am calling it a fish chocolate slash fondant mold. 
You can also write yourself little notes in each of the items. Now you can utilize this for any purpose, but I think I would personally use it to say something like if I wasn't super happy with a product, I could write something like could use an upgrade. And I think that would be really beneficial for items that you don't really use that often, but once in a blue moon and you kind of forget how that quality of product performed, this would be great, especially for clearing things out. Now, one of the downsides of this app for me personally is I didn't have this app when I first started collecting cookie cutters and I have hundreds and hundreds of cookie cutters. So to actually input that amount would take quite a bit of time. I do, however, like this search function. It makes everything super easy. So if you're doing a Hello Kitty cake and you wanna know, oh, do I have any Hello Kitty stuff? You can go ahead and look that up super, super quickly. The last thing I wanna show you here is that in terms of functioning with a large space or something like my cookie cutter wall, you can write specifically where you're going to be able to find this item. Now, I know that all of my cookie cutters are on my cookie cutter wall, so I was very specific and said that you could find it in row eight of the cookie cutters. Now, if you wanted to be even more specific, I suppose you could even label those one step further. However, like I mentioned, I like to switch things around, so I'm just going to leave it at that. The last thing I want to note is that this was genuinely the very, very first time I opened up this app and took a look at it at all. So overall, I was actually really happy with the app. It was super, super user friendly. I appreciated that you could take pictures of each thing and that you could write notes about where to find it. Now, this was not a sponsored video at all, so this is 100% my honest opinion. And even if I ever do sponsored videos, I make it very, very clear to whoever is sponsoring the video that I am allowed to give my 100% honest opinion because I think it's really important to be upfront and honest on my channel and I want you to know that I'm being completely 100% transparent with you. So I personally would recommend the app. Now this app is essentially free, however if you don't have a premium membership you will not be able to add a multitude of items at once in a day. When you have a premium membership you can add as many items as you would like. I believe the limit for a free membership is five items. But I went and I asked Ryan what he could do for my subscribers and he said that the first 100 subscribers to go and visit that link down in the description below I'll also write it in the comments and I'll also pin it if you sign up with peak nest and you purchase a premium membership you're going to get 50% off now this is not an affiliate link I don't receive any monies from these memberships if you would like to check it out then go ahead and do so Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading weekly, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!